Hello my friends, my name is Richard Weberg for those of you who do not know me and in today's video I'm going to talk about the 80-20 rule. A, a lot of times people make reference to the 80-20 rule when it comes to marketing, when it comes to sales, when it comes to MLM, network marketing, uh, when it comes to a job. Uh, the 80-20 rule in life is basically applied, you can apply it to almost anything and one of the biggest places most people see it in life applied to is at their job. Now, in MLM, the 80-20 rule is basically can lead you to riches. And I'm gonna explain, as you see on this chart, how. But first, I just wanna give you an example by talking about you know people's jobs is almost any job or business that people work for, if there's 100 people, let's say, working at your place of employment, usually, 20% of those people, so that would mean 20% of 100 is 20, 20 people are producing the most results. And we all have experienced this, meaning you know who the lazy people are who just try to get by. And I don't want to say lazy, just maybe not motivated people. They just don't, you know, go the extra mile at their job. They like to sit around when they can. They like to hide when they can. They like to be busy, but not really busy. And that's what happens at almost any business or place of employment is not everybody is as productive. And it's the same thing in MLM and network marketing is 20% of all the people that are part of an organization are going to produce 80% of the results. The other 80% will only produce 20% of the results. So I've done some math here because with this math, I want to show you how the average person, you know, not a rock star promoter or network marketing guru can get rich based on this 80-20 rule. Because basically math doesn't lie when it comes to numbers and momentum and what you can accomplish when you focus. Because the, the biggest problem with most people and why they do not succeed at MLM or network marketing or even affiliate marketing for that matter is because they do not focus. They try to promote multiple things because they hear about multiple streams of inc income. And so they'll promote one thing and that doesn't produce hardly any results for them. And so they'll go promote something else and it's like a giant curve. You know, they get excited of something new. They promote it for a little bit. Oh, it didn't get me results right away. And they go down to the bottom where they quit or they go find something else. And now they're trying to maybe still promote the first thing, but really they're focused on the second thing. And then it happens again because they never get to the point to understand the marketing because it is the marketing in MLM and network marketing and affiliate marketing that will make you rich. The marketing is what leads to learning how to sponsor people, how to sell a product. And if you don't learn the marketing, you will never be successful and you will constantly experience this. So you need to focus in order to get these kind of results. But when you do, it's amazing what can happen from very little bits of results at a time because of the leverage that MLM offers and network marketing is the leverage factor of building a team and earning money based on what the entire team does. That leverage is how you get rich in life in anything. You have to have leverage of some kind. You either leverage your time, you either leverage your money, you leverage real estate, you re leverage investments, um, you leverage uh, numbers in MLM and network marketing, and that's how you get rich. Because through leverage, network marketing, network marketers, some of them literally make millions and millions of dollars a year. One of the most famous network marketers of all time, Dexter Yeager, who was um, in Amway for many, many years, he has passed away. He earned hundreds of millions of dollars uh, focused on one thing. He built his Amway business and never stopped. 
and now I think Dexter's been dead for five, six, seven years, something like that. And his family still collects millions of dollars from his business because of the leverage he created through building a massive team of people that had millions of people in it. So I'm going to show you these numbers here real quick and go through this with you. And I want to show you how anybody can make this math work for them. You do not have to be a rock star to do this. You just have to focus and not get sidetracked by other opportunities or other things you keep seeing. Because, you know, let's face it, online especially, there are bombardments everywhere you turn around, there's other opportunities. But you will never be successful until you focus on just accomplishing the one goal, which is to learn the marketing of what you're doing and be successful with it. Because until you do that, you will never be successful with anything. And this stuff really is simple. It may seem hard at times or slow or not producing the results you want because you just need to do it long enough so that you get really good at it and then your efforts start multiplying. And so we're gonna go through these numbers really fast here because it's it's just basic math. So I actually started this chart at month one, meaning somebody only sponsors two people. Now, if you have a ton of marketing experience, I've seen people walk into uh, our team as an example for what we're promoting, walk in and sponsor, one guy sponsored 150 people in basically his first 35 days. Uh, we've seen other people sponsor 12, 15, 20 people in a week. Um, we've seen other people walk in and sponsor uh, 100 people like nothing. It all depends on where your starting point. So I'm starting with only two. That you come into this business, you basically join an MLM, a network marketing business, and you sponsor your first two people. And you did that in 30 days. Anybody can sponsor 30 pe or two people in 30 days if they really focus. Okay, so now what you do is with the 80-20 rule, you take that two people times 20% because that 20% of the two people would be the ones to produce results, which would be 0.4. So this math isn't exact here the way I did it up till where month six, you, you have a total of 20 people in your team because otherwise this first month is basically zero, but I would have had to write a point something over here. And so I didn't do it like that. I just said zero. You just sponsored two people in your 30 days and neither one of them did anything. So then the next month, you go ahead and you sponsor two more people. And again, nobody else sponsored except for, because we're at 0.8, I threw in that somebody sponsored one. So that may or may not happen when you only have four people on your team, unless you sponsored somebody with experience or that's a real go-getter and they take off and they want this very badly, so they do the work and they sponsor somebody right away. You may have somebody that walks in and in your business in two months that it, maybe it's not you, it's somebody you knew who knew somebody else who sponsors 100 and instead of in month two, instead of having four people, you have 100 and some people. That, that Anything is possible in this type of business because it's never just who you know, it's who they know and who they know who they know who they know. Um, it's, it's never ending of where the growth can come from. So now that you got this, somebody sponsored one, the next month you're starting off with seven because you sponsored two more. So four plus two is six plus the one is seven. And now you got seven people in your total downline, 1.4% of them, the 20% get 2.8 people signed up. So now you have the next month, 11.8 people in your business. Again, 20%, 2.36% are out there doing something. And now you produce another 4.72 people in your team. So now you have, by month five, 16 people in your team, 16.52. Not very exciting, not very exciting, right? So, um, but, but it's growing. Now, here you got 20% of that. You got 3.30, which equals three people out there doing stuff. And now you have... 6.6 .6 people that come into your organization. And so I just rounded it up to 20 because this is where I originally started my chart at was I just put the number 20 on a piece of paper and started doing the math. So I just kind of said, okay, that's 20 people right there. Roughly really adds up to 22, but I had already done the math from 20 on. 
So we're just going to round it up to 20. Say somebody didn't sponsor somebody. And now you have 20 people in your organization in month six. Wow, you're really making the bucks now, huh? It, 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 it's not going to seem like it at first. And this is where people quit. You know, they're making a few dollars. Not very exciting. Maybe they're doing a lot of work to sponsors people because they don't have the experience. They're not yet focused on a, a big goal of making, a, you know, have growing a huge organization. And so this is where a lot of people quit is in this path here that have no experience or very little, have never sponsored anybody and are walking in this first time and are kind of playing around with it. And so you go from month one to month six, a lot of people in here normally quit. So I will say this at this point, in your network marketing business or MLM, um, basically they're the same thing, that the more expensive the products are to buy, the more you will need momentum on your side to get these numbers growing like this because, or the more experienced networkers you, you will need. Because when you have a very high cost opportunity, not everybody can afford it and afford to keep it if they're not making any money. So remember that 80% doesn't really make anything because they don't really see the vision. They don't really do anything. They're excited, but that's why 20% do all of the work and are the ones that prosper because that other 80% maybe plays around with it. They don't really get focused. And then eventually they're going to quit because they're not going to keep spending a, a larger amount of money on something that's not like a necessity in their daily life, especially if it's a hundred and some dollar a month commitment, you know, because some MLMs and network marketing things have very expensive commitments in order to rank, in order to make a certain percentage of sales, all they have many different rules around it. So with high cost, just remember has a larger churn rate of momentum needed to build to see these numbers as we go along here. The more inexpensive the opportunity is and the more the product is used in daily life, whether they are building a business or not, the more growth you will have because the more people can afford it anywhere around the world. So I just wanted to put that in there. Um, so now you have these 20 people Again, 20% are doing something. So now your team grows by uh, uh, eight people this month because 20% of 20 is four, but times two because they're sponsoring two people roughly each, you have eight people. And that's what I'm basing this two off of. Basically, these people here have sponsored that are active. The 20% have sponsored two each. So now you have eight. And I'm just going by this number here. Um, each month the 20%. So now you have eight more added. Eight plus 20 is 28. And then again, the math goes up. The math goes up. You got 11 in your team. You go month eight. You got 39 in your team. And month nine, you got 54. Month 10, 76. Month 11, 107 people in your team. Yeah, you're starting to make some money a little bit. You know, you're getting some numbers. So you're making money along the way. It's just not nothing to write home to mom about. It's not a lot of money. But you're making money. And you're growing, your numbers are growing. This is where, you know, you, you should really start to get really excited as your team gets bigger and bigger because you're going to have more of the 20% driving more results each month. So we keep going down here. Month uh, 12, like I said, 150. Th month 13, 210. That's the number of people in your team. Month 14, 295 now. You're growing by 118 people a month. Month 15, 413 people in your team. Now you're growing by 165 people adding to your organization every month. And we keep going down to where we get to month 19, month 20. Now you have over 2,200 people in your team. And now your team is really starting to duplicate. You're starting to get 800, over 800 new people joining your organization every single month and if you understand network marketing and multi-level marketing with most comp plans that means you're making a lot more money much faster that's the leverage because now your numbers are multiplying very quickly so we keep going down here and in month 24 you now have 
8,536 people in your team and you've added in 30 days 3,414 new people to your team. It's growing by at this point because of the 20%. You have 1,700 basically active people that are out there promoting. And if, you know, I just go by two. It's not the way the math actually works. Someone will come in that's new because they have a new list, new people they haven't talked to, or there may be a go-getter. They may sponsor 100 themselves that month. Somebody else may sponsor 20. Somebody else may sponsor 10. But it averages out to two people per active person in your team is what I'm doing the math off of because that's the 80-20 rule. So look at that took you two years to build an organization with over 8,536 people. Was it worth it? Yes, at that point, you should be making really, really good money. Now, this math is only based on, like I said, starting with two people and going up by a 20% of active people only sponsoring two people. There are organizations that grow, like I've said already in this, very very fast in comparison to this because if you're a network marketer that really knows what they're doing or you have other marketing experience and you really go to town you might sponsor 20 people your first month so now month six becomes your first month if you sponsor 20 people or you sponsor 100 you're a real rock star now month 11 is your first month and you get these people orientated and going then the next month you'll start to have some growth or maybe you sponsor some people in there that take off running too. So you shorten the number of months based on your experience, but that's okay because look at what Focus does. If you just keep going and you only focus on yourself sponsoring two new people every month and then helping your team members learn the business because now you know how to sponsor people. They start sponsoring your active ones, two people a month eventually and the numbers grow anyway. It just takes longer to get to maybe the goal in your business of where you want to be because you know how much money you'll make at that particular level. But look at this growth. Literally, you now have at month 24, 8,536 people in your team at just the slow pace. And now another three, four, uh, 3,400 people have joined your team in the next month now. You have 11,951 people in your team. That's month 25. And I bring this all the way down to month 30, where you literally have 64,276 people in your team, and your team is starting to grow by a whopping 25,000 people a month. Now, this is how people get rich in multi-level marketing and network marketing. They continue to grow a team and they never lose focus on it. Now, what if it did take you 30 months to get rich? How would your life be different now? It only took you 30 months. Do you know how fast 30 months goes by if you do nothing? That's like blinking your eyes and all of a sudden you're, oh, you're, you're easily, a year, year goes by so quick. The older you get, every year goes by so fast. We're talking 30 months. That's only basically two years and six months. And you literally have a team of over 64,000 people and 25,000 new people joining it every month. How is the rest of your life going to be in comparison to that pitily 30 months? And it all started with focus and learning marketing of how to sponsor two people. It to, you know, I don't care if it takes you 30 days. I don't care if it takes you three, four, five months to learn how to sponsor two people. Now, like I said, anybody should be able to sponsor two people in 30 days. Anybody. Especially in a very low-cost opportunity like the one that we promote. Anybody should be able to do that and learn how to sponsor two people a month to start growing their team. You know, I'm not including in on this. Maybe, you know, I've never mentioned anything about any kind of type of spillover or, you know, because a lot of MLM network marketing companies, you get spillover sometimes from your sponsor or your other upline, and it may help you to build some of your growth. I, I'm showing you that just from you, you just start at two, and you start growing it by two people every month yourself. That's it. And if one month you don't, hey, maybe the next month you sponsor four people, and it makes up for that other month. It's just all the more people that you bring into your business, of course, the faster it cuts down this growth curve because the more momentum you will have. And of course, the more ideal 
um, MLM opportunity that you're involved in, the more momentum you will have. And eventually you stick with it and stay focused. You can't help but be successful. But it's not going to come without work, effort, energy, putting in some money, um, focusing. You're, you're just not going to build these kind of numbers haphazardly. You're not going to get rich in network marketing by not doing anything. But you don't need to be an absolute rock star to build numbers like these. You just need to stay focused. And maybe it doesn't go exactly. I mean, this is perfect math of times two. Basically 20% do stuff times two. Maybe you don't find 20% right away. Remember, out of 100 people, 20% are going to do something. 80% won't. Maybe your 20 come a lot later. You just never know where they're going to come, but the, that's why you keep sponsoring people. Of course, you're going to be making money, though, because every one of these people should have bought in the product that you're part of your MLM or multiple products, and you are making money. So it's not like you're not making money if the 20%, because you never know where the 20% lies of the people you bring in. So sometimes the math isn't exact. Sometimes it's much higher. Sometimes it can be a little bit lower. But all I know is if you keep focused and you keep focused on sponsoring two people and helping your team members and learning more, you can become a rock star at this. Nobody started as a rock star just by joining. People took time to gain experience and people can grow into rock stars and become really good at this. But when you focus a little effort every single day, you can build numbers like this if you stay focused and don't jump over the math and don't do this curve thing like, oh, that looks so much better. Oh, that looks so much better. Oh, that looks so much better. Because you're, you're diluting all your efforts and you're having to restart every time you, you switch what you're doing. And this is why people fail and why people try to build multiple income streams or there's bigger marketers out there that that's what they do. One week they're promoting this, next week they're promoting that, next week they're promoting that. And they never really build any residual income and they never get rich. That's what I love about MLM and network marketing is the building of residual income. Because imagine if you're sick now for a month or something happens in your life, remember, uh, this is no longer dependent upon you. You have 64,000 people in your team. You're collecting residual income every month. I mean, at every one of these levels. It's it's not dependent upon you. That's going to grow. You couldn't stop the growth of it if you wanted to when there's that many people in your team. That's how MLM companies grew to have over a million distributors or more, two million distributors, and have done billions of dollars. It's all from focus. So the 80-20 rule, you know, that's duplication. That's the way it works. So 20% of your downlines will create 80% of your growth in sales uh, because most ML, MLM distributors don't do much. Just plain and simple. Time is valuable and something you never get back. So make sure you work with the people that don't waste your time and stop worrying when most of your downlines don't do much. If you stay focused, remember, if it's to be, it's up to me. So you keep on the path. You keep on this chart of sponsoring another two people, another two people. And if you can do it faster, you do it faster than that. So you have more momentum. But you stay focused and you help the 20% that are ready to go. You can't help the other 80% that are just going to be there and maybe purchase the product for a while or maybe for a long time. All depends on what you're selling. So don't waste valuable time on the 80% trying to get them to do things because they will only grow and do things when they're ready. Some people are not ready now, but they may be ready six months from now or a year from now. I've seen it a dozen times. I've seen it way more. I've seen it a thousand times before of somebody that just sits there and is not ready. And they're ready much later. So remember, some of that 80% will come along, but you focus on the top 20% and helping them. And if you can sponsor two people, you can surely teach somebody else how to sponsor two people. And some people that come in, they won't need you, they won't need your help to sponsor people. They'll just start sponsoring people. So who are the top 20% that you need to focus on? The ones that stand up and say they want it the most and start doing stuff. That's who that 20% is. And that's where you want to focus. And you don't worry about people that quit. You don't worry about people that are not doing anything. That because that doesn't matter. You will find the 
if you just keep going. I can't tell you exactly how long it takes, but you will find the 20%. All I can tell you is the faster you sponsor people to build your organization, the faster you find the 20%. And it doesn't matter how long, because just like this chart here, this is only 30 months. And you could have an organization with over 64,000 people in it if you just stay focused and not keep letting things get in your way. That's what we do. That's what we do in our MLM business. We are building a massive team and we don't let anything get in our way. So we sponsor people much faster than this and our team is growing much faster than this. And we've already hit lots of these numbers in a very short period of time and what we're building right now. Um, it, it's amazing what can happen when you focus because you are totally motivated by reaching your goals and dreams and getting the stuff out of life that you want. Because MLM and network marketing is one of the best ways the average person, in, in my opinion and my experience, can get rich and leverage very little money because you're leveraging a team. You're building a team and everybody has a team. And that all provides leverage for every single person that joins your team. But that's the leverage. You don't need a uh, million dollars to go buy a McDonald's franchise or two million, whatever it requires. You know, think about this. The average McDonald's franchise owner only makes $150,000 a year, but yet they need roughly $2 million just to get started. So imagine that. Here in MLM and network marketing, you can leverage simply whatever it costs to join. Uh, many MLM network marketing companies are very inexpensive to join. And then some have product requirements that you must purchase or sell. It depends on your, your business model. And that pales in comparison of starting a traditional business, you know, with the building and employees and all that kind of pales in comparison. I've owned retail stores in my life years ago. And my rent alone for one of my retail stores was $4,000 a month just for the rent. That wasn't nothing else. Multi-level marketing, there are people that make double-digit millions per year. And they didn't spend no $2 million to do that. Uh, and again, McDonald's franchise owners, you got to have that just to get started. The average person can do this very, very proficiently when they learn the marketing and just stay focused. So... I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel so you make sure that you can uh, see when I put out new videos and you can see everything that we're doing. Um, underneath any one of my videos, you can just click on my name and you know you got the description underneath here. You'll find uh, our current MLM that we are building and we are 10,000% focused on. You can click on the link right here. It'll open it up in a new tab. You can put in your information to get more information if you want to check out what we're doing and join us. But otherwise, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also put a link to this document in the description here. So when you click on more, that will be in this description as well. So you can click it open and look at it anytime you want. Set goals for yourself based on that uh, model that I have just walked through with you and then if you want to get to my channel subscribe to it you just click on my name it'll it'll open up and you'll come to my YouTube channel where you can subscribe I'll also leave my uh, a link to my Facebook so you can follow me on Facebook and anytime you have any questions uh, just hit me up you know tell me who you are and Ask your question specifically so I know how to help you. So I'll leave a link to my Facebook in the description as well. And then just get a hold of me if you got any questions. One of the best ways to get a hold of me quickly and to ask me any questions you may have. So other than that, my friend, I hope you have a great day and we will see you on another video.